Hi, this is Meredith, and in this video, I'd like to show you how to download audiobooks and ebooks on your tablet or iPhone with Libby. To start, let's open the App Store and just search for Libby, L I B B Y. Once you find Libby by Overdrive, go ahead and tap on it. This screen in the App Store will show you a little bit about the app, including a preview of what it might look like and some other people's opinions. We're going to go ahead and click the download button, or you might tap on where it says Get App. Depending on your security settings, you might have to enter your Apple ID and password. Once the app is downloaded, you'll be able to see it on your home page. Let's go ahead and open it. First time you open the app, it's going to ask if you have a library card. Say yes and then search for your library. I'm just going to search by the library zip code 85302. Select the Greater Phoenix Digital Library and then on the next screen choose a location select Glendale Public Library. Now it's asking me for my card number. This is the number on the back of your library card right below the barcode that starts with a 21442. You do need to enter the whole number. I just have part of mine grayed out right now. Now enter your PIN number. This is four digit number should be the last four digits of your phone number. If you don't know what your PIN number is or it's not working for you, call the library and we'll be happy to help you. When you're all signed in, you'll see a digital representation of your library card. Clicking Next will take you into the Libby app. This is where we can search for titles and see what's been newly added to the system. Today, I think I'm going to search for The Catcher in the Rye by J.D. Salinger. You can see the app is making suggestions of what I might be looking for. It looks like the print copy of The Catcher in the Rye is checked out. I can tell because place hold instead of borrow is next to the cover. I can scroll up and down this screen and see if there's anything else that interests me, but today I think I'm just going to look for a different book. How about we search for Leaves of Grass by Walt Whitman? And this time we'll take advantage of the auto suggestions. Here's everything that matches Leaves of Grass, and I see a print copy, and I want to make sure that I'm not checking out an audiobook. You can tell this by looking for the audiobook symbol under the cover. Looks like there is a print copy available, so I'm just going to go ahead and tap borrow, and then tap borrow again. Wait a few seconds for the app to respond, and now the book is checked out to me. From here, I can open the book, and by swiping left and right, I can move through the text. Also, some books, like this one, have hyperlinks for their chapter headings, so if there was a specific poem I wanted to go to, I could just click right on the title. Now I'm curious about what else I have checked out, so I'm going to click on where it says Shelf. This shows me all of the titles that I currently have checked out, how far I've read, and when they're due. I can also manage my holds from this screen, but that's a different video. We hope this video was helpful to you, and if you have any questions, feel free to call us at Glendale Public Library.